r slash ask reddit what could have been awesome if people hadn't ruined it chat roulette could have been so awesome to just randomly chat with someone in another country but people had to ruin it by just having dongs on it all the time just like the feature in the early Nintendo 3DS days, where it would take a picture of your face when you would die in Star Fox or something and send it to the player who killed you. They removed it because people were sending dong pics and kids were seeing them. The thought of someone aiming their 3DS to get that nice picture of their dong. After scrolling through, the consensus seems to be, everything we touch. You are a virus. Comma Agent Smith r slash thanos did nothing wrong at it today i learned people take movies way too seriously and are easily butthurt meta keywords on websites used to be a good way to tell search engines what your website is about until lots of websites started keyword stuffing and adding tons of unrelated keywords to show up in more searches so now most search engines just ignore them keyword stuffing drives me nuts when online shopping there needs to be a separate place for keywords they don't belong in the item's title. Oh look at this one pair men's women's kids unisex polyurethane genuine folks leather professional cosplay steampunk medical no finger mitten glove hand coverings with zipper snap closure. They are gloves. If I search for a specific item, like leather gloves, I report every single thing that comes up in that search that is not leather gloves. Duck those people. Climbing MT. Everest. It used to be a huge accomplishment and nowadays people hire Nepali people to take all their stuff and make their way up easy and comfortable. There is also a huge amount of trash and a queue. A queue at the very top. It looks like an awful idea these days. Apparently the trash includes a lot of poo. And at least one dead body. If that's not too a disrespectful way of putting it. There are many dead bodies. Several of them are used as guide markers. The History Channel. TLC. Discovery. ETC used to be such great education tools and put out great content. Now, it's saturated with reality TV shows that are on all the time. God I miss when I was in middle school and history was all about that World War 2 shit. I learned way more about World War 2 on history than in class. I can't even remember TLC being anything but reality TV. The last time I checked in on Animal Planet, it was the same thing. Edit. Yes. I know TLC used to stand for the learning channel. LOL just had about 45 people in a row tell me that. I just meant it seems like TLC has been infested with reality TV longer than any other station. Social media. It seems like it would be a great way to meet people, share ideas, and learn. Instead people take great joy in trolling, scamming, and deliberately spreading crap. The issue of echo chambers creating misleading propaganda centers is a huge issue on the internet, which is hard to counter. Reddit is heavily a part of this issue as well. I don't see a stop to this, unless certain governments intervenes with tech bills, specific legislations, or similar measures. Critical thinking is almost a superpower today. People no longer look for information to challenge their point of view. They want a source, any source that reinforces their perception. It's really too bad. Today is the first time in society we can actually get multiple points of view, dozens of experts, and hundreds of data points, but we default to where we are comfortable. That robot who was hitchhiking everywhere, I think he only lasted about a day in America. We suck. He got torn apart literally the day he was released. Seriously, he'd crossed Canada twice and the Americans couldn't get him out of one state. To be fair they probably could've picked a better starting point than Pennsylvania. Hashtags. People actually used them sensibly at first. Edit. Spelling. Edit 2. Miss opportunity to tag this. Going to the store today. Watch old I buy in a work now how to the hashtag target is my favorite as stream through world maybe shall jet some effing cool. My favorite fishing spot. Catherby? Crab, crab, crab. Jajux is powerless against overcrowded fishing spots. Crab, crab, crab. Flying drones as a hobby. I'm scared to fly my Ray Squad in my local park now. This gave me flashbacks of literal 5 year olds running up to me asking if they could have a turn because I've done this before. Trust me, I'm a master. Dut. Haven't been drone flying in a while even with my small RC plane. 
Oh yeah my wife is a drone pilot for her job and just a week ago we were test flying her drone to make sure it could do the job she needed it for. All in this drone plus equipment costs around $5. 500. A kid asked if he could fly it and we said no and his mom ridiculed us for not letting her son at least try. The rainforest. Welcome to the jungle. We got trees and rain. We got everything you want. Mostly trees and rain. And there's the people that you find wherever you may be pygmies with poison darts now honey you better take it from me. Had a nerf fight for my birthday and one of my friends brought a modded nerf mega. There's always a bigger fish. Brings Glock. The YouTube comment section could have been a place for insightful discussion. IMBD used to be the best place for movie and TV show discussion. Then in flood the a-holes with useless a-hole comments. They shut it down. No website has come close to what it once was. IMDB boards were always infested with trolls. I was on those forums back in 2004 and it wasn't any better than it was before it was shut down. My favorite was whenever a celebrity died and then I warned him. Jack Nicholson thread would always pop up. The Great Barrier Reef was and still is awesome. Unfortunately Australia and the world have likely doomed it. I heard they found a way to rapidly grow back coral. By splitting them and letting each half grow. Our reefs may be okay if they hurry. It doesn't matter if we don't fix the underlying issue that caused the coral to die in the first place. Random adults helping random kids was ruined by pedophiles and kidnappers. I'd like to help this kid but they might think I'm a creeper so I'll just stay away. Stranger danger after all edit. Also I guess same thing applies to men legit wanting to help women out without any expectations whatsoever. I will add just plain old friendliness. I was at the supermarket last weekend and there was an older man shopping behind me and we were both shopping for protein bars and I thought I was in his way so I turned behind me to check and we made eye contact and I kinda smiled and moved my cut up and he was like, I'm sorry, I'm not following you. And I felt so bad because I never intended to make him feel like I thought he was a creep. He wasn't. He was just a regular dude who lives in the neighborhood I live in. Also shopping for groceries. And I hated that moment. Trust me. When men are creeps. I let them fckn know. Sad how much fear is embedded in communication these days. This happened to me last week. A kid had just bought a ice cream at the shop I was at and I was getting my bike ready to go. He got on his bike with his ice cream and accidentally dropped it. He looked really bummed out about it so I offered him a chocolate bar. He got scared and cycled away. In hindsight offering him 2 euros for another ice cream probably would have been a better idea but it still made me feel very sad in humanity that I could even give a sad kid a gift. For any clarification I'm a reasonably fit 18 year old guy. Most fandoms love Undertale and Steven Universe. Absolutely hate the fandom edit. Jesus tits. 99 plus notifications from one post. Shout out to Pop and Rick and Morty. It's because Undertale and Steven Universe. Add to this Rick and Morty as well. Try really hard to be philosophical or have some deeper meaning. Then when the fan base picks up on they suddenly develops amounts of self reflection and societal criticism. All of a sudden they think they are such a deep thinker because in Undertale they learned the lesson that you should talk your problems out instead of fighting. So now you got this fandom that thinks it's enlightened and everyone who disagrees with them isn't enlightened and they feel it's their place to educate them. Undertale is a good game with a solid story. Rick and Morty is pretty good and entertaining. But my god do I just want to nope T. F. Out whenever someone talks about it. SU fandom tried to bully a girl into suicide for drawing a character with the wrong skin tone. It's an order of magnitude worse than the others. We had a common area where anyone who needed it could let their animals graze. But the wealthy folks with a lot of land and livestock would descend on it en masse. Even though they didn't need it. And ruined it. It's a tragedy. Ah yes. The tragedy of the commons. Used to be TV news was commercial free, so it was considered a reasonably reliable source of information. Once they introduced the advertising supported 24 hour news cycle, they all had to compete for the most sensationalist stories hooking the most people instead of giving actual news. When was this? I remember watching the news with my parents when I was a kid, early 80s, and I feel like they always had commercial breaks the mountain lake where my parents had a summer cabin and dock for fishing and swimming. 
It used to be pristine and peaceful, the smell of pine trees in the breeze and abundant fish. Now, as I once mentioned, the trees have been cut down. The water is polluted with oil and gas from roaring motorboat engines, and the fish are gone. Similar thing in northern Indiana at Lake Tippecanoe where my family has had a place since the 1950s. Sure, developers come into places that are beautiful but they have built so many giant homes that it's mostly multi-millionaires up there with their huge wakeboarding boats and personal watercraft. I love looking at the photos from the 80s when I grew up and we went up there to fish and swim and water ski. The people were real. Lots of retirees who worked all their lives to buy a little cottage on the lake. And the families passed the cottages down the generations. Oh, well, that's what happens I guess. There are a lot of lakes up there and they are all beautiful. Lawn darts. My friend and I used to play a lawn dart chicken with the old fashioned metal tipped ones. You toss it straight up and see who can wait the longest to dive out of the way when it comes back down. He won when it hit him. 1. Kids being able to play and wander outside all day on their own without constant supervision. Oh, and the word daddy. Daddy, sure. What the hell is even that? The name Karen. Edit. Thank you all. There's definitely a lot of ruined names and Karen is clearly the biggest modern one of a long line of Nemericide. And Chad for that matter. Chad was doomed from the start. Duluth Trading Company. Satisfaction guarantee. If a product fails soon after purchase, send it back. If you use the product and it wears out, be a mention know that you got a high quality product that served you well. And don't cheat and say you're not satisfied like a punk. I love Duluth. I had a pair of pants that got caught on a nail. And I told the cashier that I got caught on a nail so I understood if I couldn't return it. She was all no totally return this. I buy all my work were here right down to the undergarments. My wife bought some pants for work. A few months later we are in for me to get a new wallet and she says something offhand about needing new pants soon because she is losing weight and will soon need smaller sizes. The cashier told her the manager would consider that part of the satisfaction guarantee and to bring in the old ones to exchange even though it was several months since buying them. We were loyal customers for the quality clothes, but we're lifelong customers for the guarantee and the employees. My sense of humor. Now I just laugh at beans. Damn. What kind? Free holies. Gender reveal parties. Should have just been a cute way to let people know if you're having a boy or a girl. But now people go to ridiculous lengths for their parties. The worst I've heard about was a couple that decided to set off an appropriately colored explosion and ended up starting a giant wildfire. I only wanted to do one so I could eat cake. I didn't want to invite anyone else. Just get a cake. My husband vetoed it because as it turns out, when you're an adult you can just eat cake for no reason. Did you go get a cake? If not, go and get a cake to enjoy. YouTube. Between the weird popularity algorithms, the unstable copyright and IP regulation, and the recent upsurge in ads, to incentivize a paid subscription, YouTube had surely fallen from its dynasty in leading video sharing platforms. I mean it's pretty obvious that Google values user experience just enough to stay on top. But anything beyond that is just fuel for profits. It's kinda weird how the internet shows just how much an economy can be fabricated. Just as the USA functions within a military industrial complex, the internet ultimately profits from user inconvenience. I see you watched one video about politics or World War 2. Would you like to watch this video about how genocide is good? If not, I have some great family guy funny moments HQ full quality 24 7 for you. Air quality. Return policies. There were a lot of places, like REI and L. L. Bean, that had great return policies. However, people abusing them eventually led to the companies making them stricter. Limerick's trademark sign it was a vaccine for Lyme disease but had the unfortunate timing of coming out when the anti-vaccine hysteria started. Where I am in the northeast, one in three ticks carry the disease and if not caught early can cause serious health risk for the rest of your life. If I won one of those insane lotteries like 1 billion dollars I would try to revive it. Or if every person reddit person sent me dollar sign. 50. I would try to get it funded. Limericks was actually a pretty bad vaccine, 
It gave fuel to the fire of vaccine hysteria but it wasn't a failure because of that. But I think one of the big things was that instead of trying to improve a bad vaccine they just wiped it from the market. I'm from New England and both my sisters have Lyme. If someone redeveloped a vaccine is 100% supported. So was it bad because it had listed some side effects? I remember reading that it's some listed but forget what they were. Also it was a little pricey and needed a few shots for the vaccine to work like $50 a shot at least x3 sorry to hear about your family it's scary stuff. I am from knee as well and had a tick latched to my neck overnight. Got tested and was negative but freaked me out. California it was really nice in my teens and in my 20s but now it takes 3 hours to get home and if you want to go to the mall leave 30 minutes early cause that's how long it takes to find parking. And people wonder how why Amazon is taking over the world. Florida. I grew up surrounded by orange groves, beautiful lakes and stunning beaches. Now my childhood home was bulldozed to make room for a highway. The orange groves have all been replaced by overpriced luxury apartments and the lakes are all devoid of natural wildlife except for algae and amoebas because it was all killed by the owners of the cheap McMansions around them. Florida is dead. Almost every new feature added to an internet browser. That one moustache, you know, the one that is trimmed to just the width of your nose. That one, one a hole had to duck it up for everyone else. Using headsets to talk to people while playing a game. Then everyone brought their vulgarity and get good to it. If we could have chilled out, it would be a fun way to meet new people who share an interest. User interface design. We put the graphic artists in charge. When I need a designer to make a website layout, I hand them wireframes that contain the mandatory info and structure. Then real duck up is when people pay to the graphic artists to develop them and the next programmer to touch it can very well stick a carrot in the eye. The internet. The library of Alexandria. Being a fan of shit, now the fans ruin entire communities. Medication. All these executives talk about saving the world or how poor little Timmy can't do ABC. Well maybe he could if the costs of insulin or anti-cancer meds weren't sky high. Be a hero and save lives. Stop putting profits over people. FNAF. I still love the games after 5 years but seriously some of the fandoms are awful. National parks. State parks. Dot. Everything outdoor in fact. The Concord Plain. The crash was caused by another plane but it got so much bad press that people wouldn't fly it forcing it go. The Concorde, fundamentally, failed because of cost, accounting for inflation. A round trip London NYC flight was nearly 8,000 pounds. Dollar sign 9,700 US. It also had relatively short legs, preventing it from the flights to Asia that might have kept it in business. And sonic boom restrictions only allowed it routes exclusively over water, at least for transonic flight, a heck of a piece of engineering, but the wrong design for a market that was increasingly driven by being the low cost carrier. Twitch would have been awesome if the admins and streamers and viewers weren't terrible. Spore, Maxes themselves did a great job building it all up, but then when they got EA in on things, shit went down the ducking drain. Spore could have been a much better game without EA getting its money hungry ass down on it. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.